Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and in this video I want to show you a quick tour of the Windows 10 Technical Preview build 9879. There is a few uh, changes in this build, so let's let's get right into them. One of the things you'll notice, and we still have the uh, search and test view um, buttons, but Microsoft now has added um, uh, the options to hide them. You can just right click the taskbar and choose to hide them both or just one or the other. And also you'll notice a new icons for folders. When you go to folders, sorry, when, uh, when you actually go to the, uh, to the file explorer, you'll notice in the new section home that now we can pin folders and even the recycle bin to this new section. Also, you'll notice that uh, um, drives, they're no longer just tied to the um, to this PC, so they appear also outside. So if you plug a USB or another another drive, it will show up in the, on the list right here. So that's this, this a nice change to uh, for faster, faster access to different locations. OneDrive has new uh, new settings and new features that Microsoft has added to in this bill and there is quite a few that it makes it uh, supposedly makes it a, a lot better experience uh, to uh, using to using the uh, uh, cloud storage for Microsoft. We also have the uh, the notification button now has been moved to the to the system tray and no longer it's located on the uh, on the taskbar, and Microsoft has added the um, a new a new app. It's called the Insider app, where the the company is going to share and communicate with users, uh, telling them you know what's what's new in each bill and you know what are the problems and how the bills are, are improving. So this is like going to the uh, Microsoft um, uh, blog site. It's this, the same content, but now you have it all in 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 one in one application. Also, you'll notice in modern apps now we have a, a, a new button for uh, to access the uh, the app commands, and there is nothing new. Just that they changed the uh, the three buttons for these uh, three uh, for these uh, hamburger style button to access the uh, uh, the commands. Also, we have PC settings. A lot hasn't been changed in here, but now we have a Storage Sense, which it's a which is a feature that allows you to see what's filling out, uh, uh, what's what's filling uh, your storage, so you can take action on you know whether to delete or you know getting getting more storage uh, for your system. Pretty handy. And let's see what else. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, and the uh, on the uh, Windows feedback uh, feed, uh, feedback app uh, is still the same, but now has a, uh, a new features. Uh, has new features, and now you can sort the results, and it's easier to navigate and send your feedback to to Microsoft. And another change uh, users will really notice. Is that uh, Microsoft has uh, modified, has tweaked the uh, uh, the animations to to uh, when you minimize or restore uh, uh, a window. As you can see now it's uh, a lot better. I can show you from the uh, build 9860. Let me see. Hold on one second. Right here. That it was a really wasn't really a good experience. Even moving between desktops wasn't a really good experience. But now, if uh, if we add another desktop and and we move and we move between the desktop, you get a, be a better experience. see so you can see it again it's, it's a little bit better also um, there is a support it's a fully complete support for M, uh, for MKV files and new um, h264 hecv 
support containers. On Windows and Windows Explorer and an Internet Explorer, sorry. Now we have the uh, smiley face, which is a uh, which, if you recall from uh, from the Office preview, it's a it's a way that you can send feedback to Microsoft too, right from from the app. So this was just a quick look, and I hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.